Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here for the Gaston County Schools welcome reception for Superintendent W. Jeffrey Booker. I am Todd Higgins from the Gaston County Schools Communications Department, and it is a pleasure to have all of you with us this afternoon. We would like to thank First United Methodist Church and Reverend Greg Plott for making this facility available to us this afternoon. And I do want to apologize to our basketball fans <laughs> for scheduling an event uh, with the ACC tournament taking place. But we have a very happy superintendent this afternoon <laughs> with the ACC tournament champions belonging to the Virginia Cavaliers. At this time, I would like to introduce the chairman of the Gaston County Board of Education. Please welcome Mr. Kenneth Lutz, Jr. Good afternoon. I appreciate everyone showing up this afternoon. I know the weather is not most cooperative, but I think Mr. Booker has gotten used to inclement weather over the last couple of months. Uh, on behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to, to welcome you all here to, this afternoon for this reception. And we thank you for helping us celebrate this wonderful event with Mr. Booker today. Before I introduce Mr. Booker, I would like to introduce or I would like to recognize the Board of Education. Uh, first, I have Jeff Ramsey. <laughs> Kevin Collier. <laughs> Kay Gribble. <laughs> Doc Guthrie. Chris Howe, <laughs> David Phillips, <laughs> Mark Stevens, <laughs> Mark Upchurch. <laughs> we as a board of the Gaston County, our Board of Education, we are extremely proud to have Mr. Booker as our new superintendent. Mr. Booker is the seventh person to serve in this capacity since the district was formed in 1968. A dynamic, a dynamic educational leader with a vision to move our school forward, Mr. Booker is responsible for the overall operation of our schools. Mr. Booker joined the Gaston County Schools in 2009 as Assistant Deputy Superintendent. And personally, I, I, I had the pleasure of getting to work with Mr. Booker uh, through the operations committee. So I have worked with Mr. Booker for quite a few years and uh, I hope that we both have mutual respect for each other. <laughs> we argue a good bit, but we usually come to a conclusion. As our deputy superintendent, he, he, took a, he was over nutrition, technology, all of our facility, and I think everyone knows that that probably was a very large task considering our facilities and what we have to do to maintain them. Mr. Booker is a graduate of the University of McIntyre School of Commerce. He had concentrated in finance and additional coursework in management and leadership. Prior to joining Gaston County Schools, Mr. Booker was Vice President of Carolina's Healthcare System and also served as Assistant Superintendent of Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. And we do not hold that against him. <laughs> uh, Mr. Booker is very active in professional and community organizations, and he is joined today by his lovely wife, Rhonda, and their three children, Lindsay, Alex, Will. Y'all all can stand up, y'all have to be scared, you can smile. <laughs> Mr. Booker has served approximately 75 days of our, uh, as the 75 days as the superintendent of Gaston County Schools, and I think everyone probably doesn't does not realize, but he's been a very busy man. We've had a lot of community meetings, and I think these community meetings have went extremely well. We've had great turnout. 
Mr. Booker's got a lot of great ideas from the community and from teachers and support staff. And so as the Board of Education, we are extremely happy with, with the way that this has turned out. I came across a quote, and I think this describes Mr. Booker. A leader is someone who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. Mr. Booker, today we would like to thank you for accepting the responsibility as superintendent of Gaston County Schools. The Board of Education looks forward to many, and we would like to express many, 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 many years of working with you. We do realize that you have the best interests of all of the children of Gaston County, and we look forward as a board working together with you to make those good decisions to make Gaston County Schools the best or the number one school in the state of North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege today to introduce you the new superintendent of Gaston County Schools, Mr. Jeff Booker. A good, a good friend of mine who speaks for a living said when you get an introduction like that you got to remember to wipe it off because <laughs> something else is going to stick to you real soon. Um, you know it was almost five years ago that Reeves McGlowan called me as I sat at Carolina's Healthcare and I've said to some people maybe I shouldn't answer the phone that day. But he asked me would I be interested in getting back into public education and I told him what do you mean because I thought he might have been calling for a friend and he said I'm looking for some help in Gaston County. And this was the one place that I was willing to consider getting back into public education. Because this is home. Rhonda and I moved here in 1989 and established a, a residence here, but we've had the pleasure of having three children birthed here, and they have begun to rise up in this community. And this community has been very good to us. And to have the opportunity to return and give something back to this community really intrigued me as we sat and talked. So to the Board of Education, I thank you for this opportunity. But really, there are a lot of folks in this room, and if I said for all the administrators to stand up, everybody would be standing. I thank you for turning out today because you are the ones that make it happen every day. Mr. Lutz just talked about the community meetings. We sat down and made a list of all the folks that it helped do, and, and for those of you who aren't here, primarily my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, um, we have done 14 meetings across the community over the last six weeks. And we sat down and made a list of who all it took to make that happen. It's over 70 people turned out, and most of those people gave up all seven days, all 14 meetings. So I would like to personally thank them here. And if you all would join me in thanking us. Well, 75 days is what they give me credit for as starting as superintendent. But I tell you, James Montgomery starts it off with me three weeks before because he sends me an email. I think it'd be great if you started at Bessemer City. <laughs> and so he meets me in the parking lot at 515 in the morning and we get on a bus. And it was cold January 3rd on the bus. <laughs> but we rode through the hills outside of Bessemer City and we watched children get on the bus. And the bus driver greeted the children, and she would tell us before we got to the stop the lives of those children, what they were going on with their family, and what they were doing in school, and her concerns about those children. And it starts to give you a flavor of what our school system is made up of. It's not people who come and get a check. It's people who come to change lives. It starts right there with that bus driver, but what you know is there's a whole army behind that bus driver because we have mechanics that make the buses run, fuel truck drivers that keep them fueled. We have assistant principals and others that schedule those buses and get them there. And that's just one segment of it. And then I was talking with Ms. Niemeyer about our, book, our backpack program that feeds children. Because folks, 59% free and reduced lunch. When we're up at four o'clock in the morning trying to decide whether to go to school or not, and we all joke about all the opportunities I've had to make that call in my short time, what we think about is safety first, and then second we start weighing are children going to get to eat or not? Because that's another part of our mission. 
and we have a lot of those folks here today from School Nutrition uh, helping out today, but they help out every day. And it's, again, part of how we work as a community. And that's why the board stressed that my superintendency should start by us being out in the community. And in those meetings, we've had over 1,200 people attend. Now, that sounds great, 32,000 students, 1,200 people. But 900 people are staff. And those staff folks have greeted us and have welcomed us, even though it's been five years since they had any raise of significance. The 1.2 was offset by an insurance increase. So I'll say they haven't had a raise in five years. But they showed up in droves to talk about how dedicated they were to this school system and how much they valued the school system and then to offer what they felt like were ways we as a school system could improve. And so that, to me, shows what we're made of as a school system. And that didn't surprise you with the comments that we got. I have to flip through those because there have been so many. We've received over 2,100 comments. But morale is a concern. The overall support for public schools, and I wish they could be here to see the support that is in public schools in events like this. They know that we're, we're test too much. We're strained on technology. We're strained in the buildings that we have to take care of. But most of all, they believe that the community needs to embrace and understand that we are their school system and we are the greatest asset in this community. And so our goal as we move forward over the coming years is to have the community re-embrace the school system and to understand we are the best choice for any child in our community. And so as I stand here, I want all the administrators, staff, board to understand we're in a battle. It's a battle I look forward to. Choice is good because we are the right choice. And we will continue to offer the right choices. And so I look forward to us moving forward with that. But as I close, I just want to thank everyone for the support I felt and ask. It's a rosy day today even though it's raining. We're going to have bumps. We're going to have challenges. But as long as we stay together and work to move forward, we will see Gaston County Schools be a model school system, not only for the state of North Carolina, but for these great United States. So thank you for this honor and thank you all for being here today. At this time, I'd like the Board of Education to join me at the podium. For many years, the apple has been a simple symbol representing schools, teacher, and education. As a matter of fact, if you look back in the back, you can see that Gaston County Schools has that symbol in their logo. So today, the Board of Education would like to present Mr. Booker with an engraved crystal apple that reads, Jeff Booker, Superintendent, Gaston County School. <laughs> In case you forget. <laughs> Mr. Booker. You have, you have to come back up. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I have one more small thing to do, and I think it would be amiss if we uh, didn't say our biggest thank you to Miss Booker. We would like to give you a floral arrangement and tell you thank you very much for all your support and putting up with Mr. Booker. <laughs> Again, I would like to thank each and every one coming out, especially with the inclement weather that we had, but I would like to thank you for coming out and joining us with this celebration. I'm going to ask Todd to come back to the podium. We have a musical presentation. Thanks. Now it is a pleasure to welcome members of the Ashbrook High School Chorus for a special musical performance in honor of our new superintendent. Please welcome the director of the Ashbrook Chorus Program, Mr. Trent McGill.
These are 10 students from the 260 member Ashbrook High School Choral Music Program and these 10 folks will be standing on the stage at Carnegie Hall two weeks from tonight with the uh, um, Ashbrook Concert Choir as we sing there. And if you get a chance sometime this week, uh, Thursday or Friday, we are hosting in Gaston County 53 high school choirs that will be at the music performance adjudication. It's our old contest, but it's an MPA, and most of the Gaston County high schools will be performing, and I'll be glad to send you all the schedule and hope you can stop by and stick your head in, and they'll be there Friday, Thursday and Friday. Thank you. Our piece that we're singing today is Where Dwells the Soul of My Love by Victor Johnson. Education has established job expectations for Mr. Booker when he became our new superintendent in January. 
Well, we also have had a group of elementary children <laughs> establish job expectations <laughs> for Mr. Booker, and I would like to share a few of them with you at this time. <laughs> Mr. Booker, here is what our elementary students think you do as our <laughs> superintendent. <laughs> He turns on the heat every morning. <laughs> he makes sure we have pizza in the lunchroom. <laughs> he drives the school buses through the car wash. <laughs> he puts the American flag on the flagpole before we get to school. He sends us ice cream. He dresses like a weatherman. <laughs> he wears shiny shoes. He makes it snow so we will miss school. <laughs> and probably the most important, he cares about us. Thank you all very much for being here this afternoon. Please enjoy our refreshments and the time that we have together here this afternoon in welcoming our new superintendent to Gaston County Schools.